how to run Android apps like WhatsApp, Instagram, and others directly on your Mac. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to run Android apps on your desktop. That includes the PC, the Mac, which I'm using here, Linux, Chromebooks, etc. The first thing you want to do is to add the Arc Welder app to your Chrome installation. Obviously, you will need to be using Google Chrome uh, in order to, to do this. So make sure you have Chrome installed. You're using Chrome when you go to this website here and you go to this link because you're going to need to add the Arc Welder application to Chrome. So just click Add to Chrome and then click on Add. And it's going to go through its little checking thing. You'll see it and it's downloading. Yes, we eclipsed 100 megabytes. Okay, I didn't realize it was that large. Okay, now we are uh, finished downloading and it's still checking. Eventually, you'll see where it is successful. So just be patient. So there we go. So it see you see where it says launch app. You can just click on launch app, and of course, it appears in your uh, in your list of applications for Chrome as well. Um, so what we can do is just go ahead and click on launch app. And here's the Arc Welder app. Now, the first thing you'll need to do once launching this is to choose a directory on your file system uh, to write files to. So I'm using OS 10. I'm going to click choose here at the bottom. And now I'm going to select a directory I've already pre-created. It is called Android. It's under documents. And I selected directory here, Arc, just like that. And then click select. All right. So now... It's just about adding an APK, which is the application uh, that you want to use on your on your desktop, the Android application. Um, you can download applications from this website here called APK Mirror. There are other websites you can download applications, and you literally just click the download button, and it'll go through the download process. So, say I wanted to download, I don't know, I'm trying to think, uh, Pandora. Just click this link here, and then you'll see where it says download here. Uh, and then you can just download the, those uh, APK files. Uh, I've already downloaded quite a few of them. Uh, I'm gonna show you here on my desktop, I have a folder called APKs, and you can see I have IMDB, I have Instagram, and I have some others, uh, WhatsApp even. So yeah, you can actually run WhatsApp and talk to people, uh, text people via WhatsApp, which is pretty cool. Um, so let, let me show you exactly how to set this up. And I'm gonna show you a way to set it up so that you can run multiple apps because by default, you can't normally run multiple apps. You can only load one at a time. So the first thing you wanna do here is to click on add your APK. So I'm just gonna click add your APK. And then from the APKs folder, wherever you downloaded your APK, you can just select the, the package that you want to add. So I'm gonna add WhatsApp here. And then I'm just gonna click open and it's gonna load. Now I'm gonna choose portrait, phone, and yes for clipboard access. But instead of launching the app, which would work, I'm gonna click download zip. And I'm gonna save that to that directory that I created, the Arc directory, under my documents, Android, Arc, and I'm gonna save that there. So now I'm gonna to go to the Arc directory, and there is the WhatsApp zip file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this to extract it. So I have the X, the WhatsApp uh, folder here and that it contains all the details about the app. Um, it, it, it is basically the application that I can load. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up Chrome again and I'm going to click where this little menu bar uh, or I guess you can call it the hamburger button. Click that, go to more tools and then click on extensions. Now I'm going to click where it says developer mode. Now I'm going to click load unpacked extension. And now I'm going to select the WhatsApp folder that I just unzipped right here and then click select. And that is going to load WhatsApp there for me. Right, the nice thing about doing it this way is that you can load multiple applications using this method. So I'm going to load one more application. I'm going to go back, add APK, and I'm going to do Instagram this time and click open. All right, so I have portrait, phone, good. All right, so now I'm going to download the zip and save it. And we're basically just repeating the same process that we, that we did earlier. So now I'm gonna double click on Instagram to unzip it 
and there it has a folder. All right, so now we can go back to Chrome and load unpacked extension. And now choose Instagram this time. So basically this has allowed me to, to basically like have two applications um, at the same time. Whereas normally you would only be able to run one, you had to unload it and then load a new one. Now you can load as many as you want using this method. All right, so now we have those two uh, applications running. So what we can do is we can just go to our launch pad and you see WhatsApp here, you see Instagram here. You can go to the Chrome app launcher if you want to and then uh, just launch them that way if you want. Uh, but these act like just normal applications. So I have WhatsApp and I have Instagram. If I click on WhatsApp, it loads up WhatsApp just like it normally would. Uh, looks just like the uh, Android interface. I'm gonna minimize this. Agree and continue. Tablets are not currently supported. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so. I have actually been able to log in with this after I verified my number and all that and hold a conversation and I'll show you that in a second. Um, so this does work. Uh, let's load up Instagram. All right, so there's Instagram and <laughs> this works as well. Um, and let me just, I guess I can go ahead and log in for you guys. Let's see Jeff, Benjamin. Okay, so there we go. Um, so there is Instagram and I can you know, comment, like, just do what I normally do. Now, obviously you can't take photos um, because there's no like camera, because it's not a phone, you're using your desktop. Um, but probably people will end up figuring that out as well, how to do that and uh, how to use your Max camera and other things like that. Uh, this obviously doesn't work perfectly for all applications. Some apps just will outright refuse to work. Uh, some apps rely on Google Play services. You can add Google Play services support to your application that you load, uh, but that's a little more in depth. Um, but for just basic access to applications like WhatsApp, uh, like Instagram, you have basic functionality. You'll be able to, to chat with friends over WhatsApp. You'll be able to view pictures and like pictures with Instagram. So I know you guys are probably wondering what WhatsApp actually looks like. Uh, well, here it is. This is uh, me chatting with Sebastian via WhatsApp, which is an Android application running on my Mac using Arc Wilder. <laughs> it's pretty awesome uh, to be able to just quickly access my Instagram, quickly access my WhatsApp, and uh, communicate with individuals over WhatsApp right there on my Mac. So I can leave my iPhone plugged up. I don't have to worry about grabbing my iPhone just to reply to a message. I can do that all directly from my Mac. Super simple, super easy. Ladies and gentlemen, will you use this? Do you think it's handy? Share your thoughts down below in the comment section and let me know what you think. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.